Do you wanna know how running an online business looks like? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm running my business and what do I actually do as running an online web design school. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another segment of Business Time. A few weeks ago, I've shot on my Instagram stories uh, a little snippet of a uh, spreadsheet that I was working on documenting all the business tasks that I'm doing when running my online business and a lot of people really showed interest in that. So I want to share on this video, this spreadsheet, how I'm thinking about this, why I've actually created it. So basically, I've the, my business recently changed actually. I was running a freelance business, you might say an agency type of business where I was providing services for a client. Now my business has shifted and I'm actually running an online business. I have an online course teaching designers how to use Webflow and so I'm basically doing that full time right now and so the the stuff that I actually do on a day-to-day -day base have literally changed to new things, new activities and you know, a lot of people don't really know what you do as owning an online school actually even my dad asked me so what do you have to do all day like the course is done so what do you do all day turns out there's a lot of things that you need to do now I'm looking to get my business into one million dollar this year and I'm realizing right now that I'm basically the limiting factor right now I'm trying to do everything myself there is so much work to be done and I probably need to grow and hire some people to help me. And I've got already a couple of people helping me. Um, there is Nick, the great editor that helped me with editing the YouTube video. Um, there is Yotam, the guy that helped me with Facebook ads. And I've, I'm working with a few collaborators, but it looks like I'm going to still have to grow my team. So one of the first steps that I wanted to do was to actually document every task that I literally do in my business to kind of see high level what are the functions of the business how much time I'm spending on each function and what can be delegated to other people so that you know um, we can grow because either I don't do this best or I don't enjoy doing this or it's not my core competitive competency to actually keep doing that so I've actually went ahead and created this spreadsheet um, which is just a Google Doc um, I'll just go over quickly to show you what I'm doing um, basically in my day to day. So first thing is uh, I review the sales and the analytics of you know the course, uh, making sure that we're tracking properly to understand um, where the sales are coming from and to really understand what's going on in my business. Um, since I have a podcast, I have to invite podcast guests. Um, since I do have affiliates for my course, I have to manage those relationships, ask new people to promote the course. So that's a thing. Um, I do live chat support because people are reaching out with questions. Um, people on the webinar are sending in questions that I have to answer every day. People on Instagram are sending me DMs with questions about the course, so I have to answer these every day. Um, and in general, people, students in the course are asking questions or posting comments that I have to uh, answer. Also have to make sure that all the students are happy and to get testimonials from my students. Um, I have to manage the people that I work with, so my contractors or my employees. I have to make sure that we have a solid business strategy for my business. I have to do hiring to find more good people to work with. I have to manage all the finance of the business um, because I'm doing a lot of content on YouTube and on Instagram. So I have to make sure that I have a good content strategy, knowing what videos to create. I have to actually create the videos on YouTube, what I'm doing right now. I also have to create content for Instagram, which I'm doing. Um, I have to write email sequences so the people who sign up are getting emails from me. Um, also trying to write weekly emails to the list of, of people. I'm actually at the moment not able to write consistently every week, but I want to do this. Um, also have to do what I'm calling the four by four, actually my, my business coach calls it four by four marketing strategy, um, which I'll, I won't go into deep right now, but basically it's a marketing strategy. Um, since we're running ads, I have to actually create the ads. I have to design the landing pages that people are coming to um, from the ads. And I have to build more content for the course or update it or build new courses and make sure that we have good onboarding flow for the course. So basically those are more or less, uh, maybe I forgot a few, but the basic core tasks that I'm doing and I've here in the category, I've kind of 
uh, ranked, not ranked them, but sorted them based on the function of the business. So those are admin, those are business development, this is customer success, this is management, this is marketing, and this is product. Um, now, the, the reason that I did this, and then I have put here average weekly hours to really understand how much time I'm spending on this. Now, this is something that basically I, I made a video in the past showing how I use Timely to track my time. But because I set up my Timely when I had the previous business model, when I was kind of like more in agency or a freelancer than an online business school. So the, the kind of projects or tags that I had in my timely were basically based on clients, clients work or business development for, you know, getting clients, getting sales, sending proposals. So like my time tracking was structured for my old business. So based on this, I, I couldn't even like all these tasks that you have here right now under my time tracking fell into the Webflow Masterclass. So basically all my time now goes into the Webflow Masterclass, but I didn't have kind of visibility inside to know which function. Now, since right now what I'm doing all the time is working on the Webflow Masterclass, I, I need to understand inside where time goes. So I actually use this to structure my, my timely. So this is my timely and now I've created project. I've actually archived all my past project and created this new new project that are you know that are correlated to this and to each one of these um, let me see if we can do that inside uh, if I go to edit they have tags inside that's how timely works so this is live chat support webinar questions IT questions um, so those are tags and basically now that I'll time track and I just started this like yesterday so there's no real data here yet um, not a lot um, I'll be able to see first of all on kind of like on a high level where my time goes right now so admin marketing management and biz dev and on tags base what tasks are taking on um, that so-and-so time. And that'll be helpful after a week or two to understand where the average weekly hours go so I can understand if I delegate this function to somebody else, um, how much time is it going to save me? Now, one more thing that I was discussing with my business coach is that I realized that some of these tasks here are really not tasks that are making me happy and I'm actually frustrated that I have to take care of them. It's not again, my core competency where, where I feel that I bring most value to people. Um, so he actually um, encouraged me to add this column here, which he called happiness index um, and rank these tasks between zero, which is I'm not enjoying this at all to 10, which is this is the thing that I like to do most and rank them. Um, and basically <laughs> right now, if you can see, we've counted them. There are six tasks that make me happy, um, which is, I don't remember if it's a above six or seven. Uh, so there are seven tasks which are neutral somewhere in the in the middle and there's 11 tasks which are bad. Now it doesn't mean that most of my time now goes to because the time is not equal for all tasks. So once I have these um, you know these hours weekly hours in I'll know that if if my time is going to tasks that makes me happy or neutral or bad and then I can try to adjust or hire somebody to replace me doing the task that I don't like doing or that I'm not the best at. So this is basically the blueprint or I would say the fundamental structure that I need to know about my business. So now I can find the best people to work with and, and grow this business and reach my goals. So I think no matter what your business structure is, um, doesn't matter if you're a freelancer agency or, or trying to build an online business, trying to think about the tasks that you do as an individual, try to see what are the business functions behind them and where your time goes will allow you to better structure and manage your business so that you can grow if, if growing is what you want to do and succeed in reaching your goals. Hope that was valuable for you. I'll catch you on the next video.